Prince Philip asked the Queen's private secretary for a plaster for a cut on his hand after his car crash last month that left a woman with a broken wrist without mentioning what had happened. The 97-year-old was driving a Land Rover near the royal family's Sandringham estate in eastern England when he smashed into another car, carrying a nine-month-old child, on January 17. Upon his return to Sandringham House the uncharacteristically unsettled Duke said to Edward Young, the Queen's private secretary, have you got a plaster? I've cut my hand. He did so, failing to mention the crash with the Kia Karens on the A419 at Babingley, near the royal residence, according to sources who spoke to the Daily Telegraph. Mr Young, who dutifully applied a band-aid, only discovered later on what caused the gash on Prince Philip's hand. The news comes after the prince yesterday learned he would not be prosecuted for the incident, having given up his driving license under police advice. We took into account all of the circumstances in this case, including the level of culpability, the age of the driver and the surrender of the driving license, said Chris Long of the Crown Prosecution Service. We have decided that it would not be in the public interest to prosecute. Authorities said that everyone involved in the collision had been given an explanation in writing about the decision. Sources also revealed to The Telegraph that the Duke genuinely had no idea who was in the vehicle he collided with until he saw images of Emma Fairweather, 46, in the press. Officers quickly whisked the disgruntled Duke away from the scene of the smash, while Ms Fairweather, a friend and her baby stayed. The Duke of Edinburgh reportedly said I'm such a fool after being pulled from his wrecked Freelander which had flipped on its side. The Duke, who complained of the glare of the sun impairing his vision and causing the crash, later sent an apologetic letter to Ms Fairweather who is set to undergo surgery to have a titanium plate inserted into her wrist which is failing to heal adequately. In the letter he said he was advised by a local police officer to return to Sandringham as a crowd was beginning to gather. As well as Edward Young, the press office and aides of the palace also seemed to not know the full extent of the incident early on. A graphic shows how the crash unfolded on the A149 in Norfolk last month A simple statement from the palace assured that the Duke was okay after an RTC, failing to mention any of the details that soon filtered into the media. A source told The Telegraph that officials played it down because the Duke played it down. Despite not mentioning the issue at Sandringham, sources say the Duke was shaken as well as furious with himself over the crash. The paper also reported that grandchildren of Philip were warned not to make a fuss about the incident thus explaining why Princess Anne said she had no idea how her father was two days afterwards. The source added that the family were also warned against entertaining the idea that the husband of Queen Elizabeth II would give up his license. This was over fears that he would dig his heels and even more referring to his famous stubborn streak. Celebrity lawyer Nick Freeman, known as Mr. Loophold, claimed he had seen a copy of the accident report which apportioned some blame to Kia motorist Ellie Townsend, 28, for failing to drive more defensively. Mr. Freeman, whose clients have included TV's Jeremy Clarkson and footballer David Beckham, said, apparently the driver of the Kia car saw the Duke's Land Rover emerging from the side road. He was probably doing that in order to get a better view of the road if he was dazzled by the sun. 
but the Kia driver didn't react. She could have slowed down, flashed her lights, or sounded her horn. She did none of those things. She took no evasive action, if she had the crash could have been avoided. Mr. Freeman agreed that there was no public interest in prosecuting the Duke. He added, it was probably the right time, given his age, for the Duke to give up his license. If he'd not done that he probably would have been prosecuted and disqualified. But there was no public interest in prosecuting him once he surrendered his license. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said yesterday, the Duke of Edinburgh respects the decision of the Crown Prosecution Service. Philip will still be able to drive around royal estates as they are private property.